Welcome back diecast collectors. Today we have a 164 scale green light video. This is yet another video review of my green light collection I have amassed over the last couple of months. Time to open up some more of the cars from the floor hoard, as I like to call it. This is a part of my collection that I like to display loose on the background Plano display walls. And I have a large announcement to make for those that didn't hear about this and it was news to me just uh in the last couple of days having looked through some green light information online as it turns out green light collectibles was purchased by a new company walterson's industries group at the end of 2022 and they have a new president and ceo vincent tang who is a diehard collector and is bringing fresh perspectives, resources, expertise to fuel the growth and take the company to new heights. And also enhance casting accuracy and details. Uh, so this is huge news. I mean, this, this explains why the cars of 2023 are such higher quality than cars that we've seen in the past years. And this is great looking forwards. To know that a diehard collector is at the helm of this company now. And man, oh man, good for Vincent. If I could buy Greenlight, I certainly would have as well. And I don't know what it would have cost to buy Greenlight, but this is exciting news for collectors. It's nice to know that we've got someone like-minded that is really interested in the quality of the cars and the variety. It is reported that Mr. Tang will be recreating many American iconic vehicles with modern CAD and tooling techniques. And also will be striving to deliver exceptional quality at the affordable price and maintain a competitive edge, which is great. And also further to that, Vincent Tang's passion for cars has been a long time one since he was just a young lad. Uh, he began building plastic model kits apparently and then collecting die-cast cars and has been focused on collecting all scales of die-cast between 112 and 164 scale over the last 30 years from major brands worldwide. So he's quite an enthusiastic collector and industry leader. This is just amazing news, guys. I cannot, I can't even express how good this is to hear. And I see a very bright future for Greenlight at the helm of Mr. Tang here. Um running the show so to speak and wow it's time to start padding the pocketbook because there's probably going to be a lot of nice stuff coming out and hopefully it remains highly available it would be nice to see more availability in canada and as it turns out mr tang has lived in both canada and the uk for decades although he is originally from hong kong so maybe he will actually open up some new avenues for us here in canada and certainly North America, um, and perhaps even abroad into Europe. All right, without further ado, let's get into yet another Greenlight review. Let's start the loose review off by looking at these Fox Body Mustangs. We've got an array of cars from 1990 to 91 and 1993. These are the Ford Mustang SSP Highway Patrol cars, and... I have uh, Trading Acme Company. I don't know if this is an exclusive, but it certainly is a hobby sort of, I guess, exclusive car. I'm not sure where you would buy these. Perhaps at the Acme Trading Company. I found mine on eBay. And these are pretty cool. Not much going on for the packaging, but that's pretty normal. This one is from the Hot Pursuit Series 43. And I may have already opened up this car in the past, but it seems like it might be new to me. I won't know for sure until I head over to the wall, but I've already gone ahead and pre-cut these. So let's just start by opening them up and checking out the details and the quality. Perfect. There you have it. Opening hood on this casting. Really nice. Uh, again, we can see good, clean paint and windows. Nicely attached uh, taillights and the tampo work is good. Well, it's not really Tampa. I guess it's the livery. And this one does have independent transparent headlights as well. Nicely detailed engine. And of course the interior as well. So looking pretty good. Rolls nicely. And we'll open up the other Acme car. 
and very similar story here nice condition car getting a little bit of blur here for some reason i like the two-tone paint on this one as well silver and black looked good too but this beige and black kind of jumps out state trooper uh same engine bay and if we can get maybe a focus on the door perhaps that will help zoom in just a little bit florida state patrol well we've kind of lost the focus of the parking mat but for now until it fills up we can uh, kind of go about it this way wyoming highway patrol so this one i think i found at the local big box store highway patrol now this one does have some fingerprints on it and some grease i'm gonna give it a little polish and uh, see hopefully those fingerprints are just on the outs of the window maybe this is from the tail end of 2022. I'm not exactly sure when release 43 came out. These cars are part of my floor hoard. So they may have been sitting there for a while. And also I've noticed my Walmart lately got a lot of old stock over Christmas. So it has cleaned up nicely. There's no issues. The windshield is clean now. The inside was clean. So that's good. So thankfully... Very nice rolling car. All three are rolling great. We're going to keep opening up Mustangs. I've got two more. And we'll just zoom out for a smidge. But you already saw the packaging here. We do, we do have a Hobby 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 exclusive. United States Postal Service with the Mustang on the postage stamp. 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. It does have a little bit of information on the back. You can pause on if you like. And the other one is from a Norman Rockwell Series 4. I have had this one in my collection for a while. Just waiting to open it up. 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. And this one has the skis on the luggage rack in the trunk. It comes from a selection of six different vehicles. I'm not sure if I got any other vehicles from this series. But most likely I did. I don't think I got them all though. And again, just a few fingerprints, looks like. I, probably because it is one of the older models. Let's check it for build quality. Fingerprints have wiped off easily. And we've got that nice satin white finish roof. Very detailed luggage rack. Taillights have kind of a metallic paint to them, which looks really good. And, uh, oh, we do have a very sloppy white wall tire there. I'm going to have to turn that one around. Hmm. So, most likely due to the age of these vehicles. And uh, this is what I do when I don't like the white wall. Just put it on backwards and pretend it's the spare. That one's kind of crooked too. Probably going to change that one around. Anyways, nice looking car. It does have the opening hood with detailed engine, which I really like when the models have that as a feature. This Mustang has the same opening hood. Now this one's newer. I expect it's probably going to show a little better because clearly everything didn't just happen overnight with the changes to the manufacturing process but definitely it happened rapidly and check it out this one's just mint there's the engine good fit and finish clear windshields i'm gonna probably tilt this camera down a little bit so my hand isn't the constant background that's a really nice rolling car now on to dually driver series 12 67 Chevrolet C30 Dually Wrecker, New York City Police Department, NYPD. Also part of a six-vehicle set. I did get the 85 Dodge Ram W350 Power Ram Dually Flatbed already. That was silver. We have reviewed it already on the channel. I must have picked this one up after that truck was purchased. The other ones I missed out on. There were some really good tire service trucks, police trucks, and uh, would have liked to get a few of those, but they sold out rather quickly. Even at the local hobby shop, the Willia die cast. So here it is. This one is nice, though. Vintage tow truck. Uh, that seems to be working out a little better with the focus now, so that'll be better for the filming. Separately cast hood. 
and very clean model, of course, being one of the newer ones, newer releases. Looks really good. It's got the true dualies, and look at they're pretty straight, which is hard to come by. I've noticed on some of the newer models as well, they've gone away from these little white serial number stickers. This being uh, the truck was number 1,160 off the production line. And they have, Greenlight has gone to a print, I believe, on a lot of the models. So I've set up a few cars in the background as well. Those are going to be bonus cars. They are actually more Norman Rockwell vehicles, Series 4. So there's two more. And I've got a couple Hollywood Stuntman vehicles as well. Those will be at the end of the video. Now we're looking at Golf Special Edition Series 1. Nice graphics. Looks like the Big Sur, perhaps. Uh, California Highway. Correct me if I'm wrong. 71 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR with the Golf livery. This one has an opening hood and a very detailed engine. Uh, six vehicles in the selection. I chose to get two. I did miss out, actually, on... The Dodge Ram D350, would have liked to get that. And, uh, yeah, I think I saw the other ones available, but since I couldn't get the Dodge, I didn't even try to complete the series. And the Dodge was going for quite a bit on the secondary market, so not worth buying that on eBay. So right off the bat, I saw a little bit of a greasy film on the windshield and perhaps on the back window. Again, these are probably been sitting on the floor for a couple of months now in my collection, and they're probably even older than that. Oh, what's going on here? I'm sure this hood opens. Yeah, I cannot get it open, though. Ah, of course. Of course. Forgot all about that. It opens the other way. Hmm, being a Nissan guy, shame on me. Look at that super nice detailed engine. Just incredible. This is probably one of the most detailed engines of the green light models. All those different paint colors in there. Skyline. Well, I don't own a Skyline in real life, so forgive me on that. And it rolls just like a Hot Wheel, I would say. This one is an absolute beauty. 64 Chevrolet Impala SS. So this was Series 15. Of running on empty so this is not the same series just golf and golf Running on empty series 15 I have another vehicle from series 16 that we're going to look at so these are just kind of the random cars that I found along the last few months of shopping and not necessarily part of a complete selection or series of the six vehicles that I try to get when I really like the whole collection Although less and less I do that, not because I don't like the collection, but simply because I can't afford everything and don't have the room for it. And also I've got a lot of castings already that are in repeat with different paint jobs. Now check out these Blue Wall Goodyear tires. Very nice. Great details on this car. Love this casting. Another really nice rolling car. And here we go. Series 16 running on empty. So what vehicles were available in this? Dodge Ram D150. I did get that one. That was the big white lifted Dodge Ram. Uh, I don't have it handy, but anyways. And this one here. Yeah, I had some other good cars in there as well. Regardless, these are the ones we're looking at today in this video. Some flamage, We've got flamage on the truck. Little bit of windshield grease. Again, no fingerprints on the inside, which is the big awesomeness thing. Because in the past, years past, before the new ownership of Greenlight and new management, there were gluey thumbprints inside the windows on a regular basis that you just could do nothing about. And uh, they look pretty bad. But I haven't seen any of those now which is great. Still going with the stickers on the serial number, so transition pieces, as I like to call it. We are into some Shell Special Edition cars. I've got three. We'll start with the 1978 Volkswagen Rabbit. And this one has, I believe, an opening hood and a detailed engine. There's the whole lot. Missed the 67 Chevrolet C30 Wrecker. That would have been cool to get. 
Um, didn't collect the two newer Mustangs. Well, actually, that's a Ford GT. That's not a Mustang, but just wanted to get the uh, older models. And there it is. Nice rally wheels. Looks like it's got the bumper delete, unless I'm missing one. Uh, nope. Bumper delete on this. Front and back. This one's got the spoiler. And there you go. Nice detailed engine in there. Two left here before we're into bonus round. 2001 Nissan Skyline GTR. Shell V-Power. Still Series 1. Just so many new series to collect. It's uh, it's a bit challenging at times to decide what to buy because everything is so nice. Um, and I do like all models of car, so that makes it particularly difficult for me. I don't think this one has an opening hood. Doesn't look like it, but it is separately cast. Nice clean windows again. And we've got the mirrors cast right onto it. Look how small those mirrors are. Really nice that they were able to get those in there and well proportioned for the vehicle. Disc brakes are even painted in behind those five spoke aluminum wheels. Another roller. Now we've got the 96 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. And this one also has an opening hood. So we're getting a lot of nice models here. Castings with those extra details. And check out the wheel details on this one. Let's see if we can zoom in for all that. Ford logos and... I can't even make that out. It's so small, but really fine livery that looks great on this model. So there again, nicely detailed engine bay on this vehicle as well. Check it out. I think that's uh, kind of a Zamac engine with some gloss black touch-ups by the looks of it. Helix. Really nice. Okay, so we're in a bonus round here. Um, I'm going to save those two last Norman Rockwells. I've been wanting to open these up for a while. These are older, probably going on a year old, I'll bet. They are from Hollywood, limited edition. I think they're re-releases, special edition, so there is no edition number on them. Collect them all. So basically popular models from multiple Hollywood releases of the last year or two. And I may have collected more of those. I'm not really 100% sure at this time. These may have just been late to the collection for whatever reason. But here it is. The 1977 Dodge Monaco. And yes, it does have a bit of a greasy window and paint job. I'm not seeing fingerprints necessarily, but we're going to do a good check. Now, these are probably the oldest models of the selection. So I'll have to bear that in mind when doing the full, the full inspection of this vehicle. Looks pretty good. I can see that the window is a little greasy. And that's what I was talking about. The older models had this kind of haze. It's like a mist inside the windows of oil from the production facilities that Greenlight used to use. It does not appear that they are still using this technique. And occasionally, I think there was human workers more than robot workers, or perhaps they now wear gloves. I'm not sure. But occasionally, you'd see a big fingerprint in there. Luckily, there's no fingerprint on this model, but... Uh, it does have that kind of overall half-baked look almost, like the paint didn't get a chance to really set up before it got tossed into a package. It does have an opening hood, but this one's a ah, pretty easy to open. Sometimes they're a little tight. Older casting. I do see a fingerprint, though, unfortunately, right in the center of the windshield. It's, it's like a partial print. Not the end of the world, because we know things have changed and are imp like completely improved. It's not like they're improving, as I always used to hope and say in the past. It has happened. These are just older models. So, 
it's great to actually have been able to compare these one last time with all the new models we saw in the last green light video I did. And of course, some of them do escape those problems, such as this Jeep seems to be in really good shape. Mind you, it has an open air cab. Very good details too. Check out the steering wheel. Love this little Jeep. Opening hood on it? Nope. Separately cast. It rolls nice. Nicely. Here we have a 1945 Willys MB Jeep. Norman Rockwell Series 4. Got a couple models of Jeep to look at. I love these old Jeeps. This is just such a great little casting. Got a nice little collection of green light MB Jeeps. Covered, open, all sorts of types. Nice, nice unit. Seats are a little crooked. They are glued in separately. Um, I haven't really paid too much attention to that, but some of them are in like a further recline. These ones are like tilted out the doors, almost like pivot seats. Rolls nicely. I mean, you could easily fix that if you really wanted to. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not that bad. Okay, another old model, Norman Rockwell. This is it for this video. And then the green light you're going to see in future videos is all newer with the exception, I do have a Hollywood, quite a large Hollywood, Starsky and Hutch selection of vehicles, which will probably be its own video. It's only eight cars, probably some duplicates in there. I just want to open them up. Have not gotten around to filming them, and they definitely are going on a year old. So, may have some issues with those. But every other green light that will be featured on this channel from here forth is going to be of the newer variety. This one's in nice condition, though. There's nothing wrong with this one. American Legion. Nice beige color. Oh, it's kind of... It rolls, but it's got the brakes on. All the tires are spinning. Just a bit of friction. Looks like some flashing in that rear fender well. Catching the tire. Anyways, nice looking truck. Very heavy casting. That is the selection, guys. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at what I was talking about with the Starsky and Hutch before we end this video off. So I do have all six limited edition release Greenlight Hollywood Starsky and Hutch vehicles for what will be a short independent review separate from other green lights. And everything else after that is new, very new. Uh, 50th anniversary, hobby exclusive campers, Showroom Floor Series 4. That's not that new, but it's still new of 2023. Dually Drivers Series 13. Saving that one for the Dodge video, I believe. Another Dodge video. Greenlight Dodge. Also coming out. And some of these might be older. I'm not opening all these up. These Hollywood Hitch and Toes. The Hitch and Toes will definitely get opened up. Those are getting a little old as well. But these are quite new. And those are still coming. And a few more green lights down here. Those are more of those Dodge trucks, actually, and a few campers. Getting all the Dodges together. Anyways, if you were after any of those vehicles seen in this video, happy hunting. We'll see you soon.